Uh, Mr. President, you, you just addressed coronavirus, um, so I will put that aside for the moment. You tweeted about Justice Sotomayor yeah. uh, yesterday, saying that she and Justice Ginsburg should recuse themselves from future cases dealing with the administration. What is the basis for your opinion on that? Well, it's very obvious. I mean, uh, I always thought that, frankly, that Justice Ginsburg should do it because she went wild during the campaign when I was running. I don't know who she was for. Perhaps she was for Hillary Clinton. You can believe it. But uh, she said some things that were obviously very inappropriate. She later sort of apologized. I wouldn't say it was an apology, but she sort of apologized. And then uh, Justice Sotomayor said what she said yesterday. You know very well what she said yesterday. It was a big story. And I just don't know how they can not recuse themselves for anything having to do with Trump or Trump-related. Uh, the right thing to do is that. Now, as a Supreme Court justice, is a different standard. But at the same time, I think it's a higher standard in a certain sense. So they'll have to decide what to do. But her statement was so inappropriate when you're a justice of the Supreme Court. And it's almost what she's trying to do is take the people that do feel a different way and get them to vote uh, the way that she would like them to vote. I just thought it was so inappropriate, such a terrible statement for a Supreme Court justice. What, what was inappropriate about the statement? I'm, I'm not an attorney, so I can't really look right, into you know it. The these, statement but, was, John, well, was, but she seemed to criticize the White House for running to the Supreme Court at the drop of a hat to seek a No, statement. I don't think that was it. But I think what she did say is she's trying to shame, the way I look at it, she's trying to shame people with perhaps a different view into voting her way. And that's so inappropriate. So let's see what happens. We have things, whether or not they recuse themselves, both. I mean, look, Justice Ginsburg, during my campaign, you know, I protested at the time. She apologized uh, in a very minor form. And what Justice Sotomayor said yesterday was uh, really highly inappropriate. And everybody agrees to that. Virtually everybody. I've seen, I've seen papers on it. People cannot believe that she said it. Yeah, please go ahead. Thank you, Mr. President. The intelligence community believes that Russia is trying to meddle in the 2020 election. Do you agree with their assessment? And what is your message to Vladimir Putin about potentially interfering regardless of the candidate they support? Well, you know, what I'm reading, and again, I'm over here for the last number of days, but they went to uh, see uh, Bernie, and they told Bernie about something having to do with they want Bernie to win. They did not tell me Intelligence never told me, and we have a couple of people here that would know very well, they never told me anything about that. And it was sort of a strange thing that they went to Bernie. And now if I find out, if I believe what I read in some of your documents and some of your papers, that it's a highly, it was highly exaggerated. And frankly, I think it's uh, disgraceful. And I think it was leaks from the Intelligence Committee House House version, and I think that they leaked it. I think probably Schiff leaked it, but people within that, Schiff leaked it, in my opinion. And he shouldn't be leaking things like that. That's a terrible thing to do. But basically, they would like to see Bernie is uh, probably winning, and looks like he's winning, and he's got a head of steam, and they maybe don't want him for obvious reasons. So they don't want him, so they put out a thing that rushes back in him. This is what they do. Uh, I've gone through it for a long time. I get it. I get the game better than anybody. And uh, that's the way it is. Terrible thing to say. And they didn't say it about me. I will say this. Uh, somebody leaked it in intelligence, but nobody ever told me that. We have Ambassador O'Brien in the audience someplace, and he can tell you that uh, this was never discussed with us. So I think it's terrible. They ought to stop the leaking from Intelligence Committee. And if they don't stop it, I, I can't imagine that... Uh, people are not going to go after them and find out what's happening. Yeah, please. But do you believe... Go ahead, ma'am. Mr. President, this is Madhu Bhatia Jha from Indian TV News, ABP yes. News. And uh, you're trying to get... I'm a TV agency in Afghanistan. So the way the deal is being worked out, what would be India's role and Pakistan's role in the region? Well, I think India would like to see it happen. I spoke with Prime Minister Modi today, and I think they would very much like to see, him ha see it happen. And we're uh, pretty close. We'll see what's going on. We've got two days now under our belt without violence or, I guess, a minimum of violence. And uh, we'll see what happens. But people want to see it. It's very interesting, that one. It's, everybody's happy about it. 
even people that are normally against me, like 99.9% .9 of the time. Because we've been there for 19 years, and uh, everybody would like to see it happen. I was actually surprised. I thought the Schumers of the world would say whatever the opposite is, you know, because that's all they can do, cry and chuck. But um, people are really, they're really happy to see that we're trying very hard. You know, we'd bring it down to 86, 8,600, and from there we'll make a decision as to what the final outcome would be. But there's been uh, tremendous praise for the fact that we're doing something. You know, other administrations have tried to do something. In particular, the previous administration, for a long time, they were never able to get anything done. And uh, we're, uh, we're really serving not as a military force, as we are a police force. And we're not a police force. They have to police their own country. We're not a police force. It's like law enforcement. And that's the way it is. So we'd like to, after 19, I can tell you, after 19 years, we'd like to bring our young people back home, bring them, that's where they want to be. And uh, we'll always have intelligence there. We'll have other things there. But we'd like to bring them, for the most part, we'd like to bring them back home. We want to watch the area. The area is a hotbed of problems. And when we bring them home, we'll let them know that if something happens, we will hit them so hard. And we could win that easily if I wanted to kill millions of people. I don't want to kill millions of people, innocent people. We could win that very easily. We don't have to act as a police force. We could act as a military force to win, not a military force to just take care of things in that very, very difficult part of the world. It's a very difficult part, very dangerous part of the world. So. Uh, Let's see what happens. So far, so good. So far. But I'm very impressed with the, with the kind of kudos we're getting. Yes, please. Yeah.